It's Pokemon time! Ooh, ooh. I'll get the stream going in just a second. Uh, I've been wanting to play this so bad for the past couple days, but I have been trying to be good with work and D&D &D obligations. Uh, but I'm finally having a free night, and I've had dinner. Uh, so I finally, finally get the chance uh, to sit down and play this. And I might finish tonight? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I'm really, really excited uh, to keep playing. I'm really interested in what's going on in the game right now. Uh, so let's get, let's get in. Let's get all revved up. Uh, where is the trophy music? Uh... Uh, I hope everybody's day is going well. Having a lovely Wednesday. Uh, just turn off the sound. There we go. Yeah, there we go. It's Pokemon time. We got the big spooky music. Uh, to be transparent, I th I think we're near the end of the game, but I keep thinking that and <laughs> being wrong. Uh. And I'm not mad about that at all. I'm very intrigued with the way it's going. I'm hoping we're going to reach a resolution soon. Because I feel like it's running the risk of maybe overseeing its welcome. Uh, I don't remember what I was actually doing previously. Um, I don't have my quest log, actually. I might not corn it for some reason. Head to the place. Okay, so last time... For those of you who missed it, uh, we ended up, uh, we, we collected all the items needed for the red chain, which we got from the three lake Pokemon, uh, Azelf, Misfrite, and Uxie. They were able to help us forge the red chain, and we went and found Dialga, uh, popping through the space-time rift, and once that was all, like, we we, com we fought Dialga, the red chain, I think, solidified Dialga in our reality? I'm not entirely sure what it did, but in theory, it neutralized it into something that we could, like, actively deal with, uh, and as soon as that was wrapped up, I caught it pretty quickly, uh, all of a sudden, Palkia also came through. Uh, for so there's, for those of you who are not real, who are not familiar with uh, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, those are the two legendary Pokemon from that generation. They are legendaries. They are quite literally the gods of time and space. Uh, Dialga was more my favorite. Uh, I'll actually showcase. I'm not actually gonna be running with Dialga most likely because I'm pretty pretty set with my team here. Uh, but I assume Dialga's in one of these boxes. Yeah, let me at least swap with the cooler Chad. Just a just a showcase what we're dealing with here. So this is the God of Time, uh, who we now just have in a ball. So what it looks like from behind, actually. Oh yeah, he's got a tail. Uh, so yeah, this is this is Dialga. I don't have a name for it yet. I honestly might just keep it Diago because that's what it literally said its name was. But let me see, Pokemon. Let me get back Cooler Chad. At the at the moment, I'm assuming I'm just gonna keep running with this team, unless I don't know, unless I decide otherwise. It's a Steel Dragon type, which is what Daphne is, and I don't really have any active desire right now to switch that out. I'm pretty happy with Daphne. Um, I'm actually, now that I'm realizing that uh, that we have everything kind of back to normal now, we were able to clear our name with uh, with the, the guy, um, with, Com with Commander Kamado. So we are fine back in town. He essentially what was happening was his town had gotten destroyed when he was younger by a Pokemon. So he, he essentially had like a vendetta against them, I think. Uh, 
So he was pretty freaked out, which is understandable, not excusable. Uh, also, Benny, the the cook, ended up being a ninja secretly, which was wild, and we got to have a cool fight with him. Uh, but yeah, everything in town should be back to normal. And now that I have the chance, I'm actually going to see if I can teach Mr. an actually decent move. Uh, I want to learn new moves. Yes, it would be Mr. Because the only fighting move he has is like, like a power 40, which is not great. Mr.'s special attack is better. Um, yeah, that's... 40 power, bulk up is... Doesn't actually do anything. Drain Punch would be pretty good. I actually want to level up his stuff. Uh, where's Drain Punch? Drain Punch is 75 power. Use your attacks with an energy punch that restores users. That would be a lot better. Uh, yes. Yes. I think that's what I want. Um... Yeah, I'm good with that. I would love, I love if he knows that. Yeah. Can I help him master it? Cause he's like, uh, let me see if I can just like, like have him hold it. I want a master move? Which should I Pokemon me tutor? Be Mister. Select. Seems like Mister doesn't know any moves I can help with. That's fine. Nothing in particular right now. Hello, Tala. How's your evening going? Let me see. Change moves. If I already have this move Master, that would be fantastic, but I doubt it. Raging Fury, what the hell does this do? Becomes fixated on using it, and then... Oh, right, the accuracy was what I hated about it. Hell yeah, we love a we love a nice chill Wednesday evening. Uh, let's see here, switch that out because this sucks. Oh wait, not gonna move this around. I think because I think that's yeah. Let me see. There we go. Yeah. Oh shoot, back up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Ta da! Got the move change. And Zisu. I think this is what I need the, the little seeds for. Mr. Select. Uh, drain Punch, please. Yes. Okay, now he should at least be viable to some degree. Oh, I mean, I, I've actually done this before. I don't know what actually happens. Oh, I just, okay. That didn't feel like I, it needed a cutscene. Uh, if they weren't at least going to have him do the move. Uh, nothing in particular. Wait, I want, what does it mean? Oh, I know what that means. Okay, now I think I'm ready to go. Right? My team should be all set. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the rest of it. Do, do, do. Uh, yeah. We'll shoot to the front gate. And... I oh mean, the outbreaks are definitely the thing I need to be concerned about right now. Uh, summit camp? Yes, yeah, summit camp is where I need to go. Hmm. curious why they're trying to get us to get a particular ore. Like, I, at this point in the game, I keep feeling like we're, like, done. So I'm curious from, like, a game design perspective what their motivation is going to be uh, to keep having us do stuff outside of just, like, for the sake of having a game still. Yeah, the more I use this bird thing easier it becomes to control. Okay. Luxray. Is that a big Luxray down there? 
Show me your eyes, Kitty. I think that's a alpha. I don't know if that's a permanent spawn or not, but it's definitely an alpha Luxray. Okay, let's find the ore. The ore is like beneath the dirt? I don't think that's right, but... Okay. Nope. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't right. But where is the... Or... Okay, I'm going away from it now. I'm very confused what this wants me to do. What, what do you want? Is there a cave I'm just missing? No, I don't think so. Descend. Yeah, there must be a cave down here I'm just not aware of. So I think that would be the only thing that really makes sense. I still have no idea where these pairs are that they're mentioning. Uh, oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, I do not want to deal with the Probo Pass right now. Please. Yep, I missed a cave. There's a whole bunch of Nose Pass down here. Okay, great. <laughs> this looks like, like Minecraft Redstone. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. That's a very specific feeling. What do you think, Leon? Let this kid appraise the rock. This kid, this kid would be a Minecraft YouTuber. Uh, taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, and my skill at mining, and the strength of my sluggo's moves. I think you'd better leave any extra ex extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? I mean, I, I'm not going to argue with you, child, if you wish to hit the rock. Uh, wait, we're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Oh, for goodness sake. Ugh. Oh, come on, who's there? We don't have any time to waste with. Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out on the clan. Where have you been all this time? Quite frankly, this was not a plot line that I really was caring too much to get resolved. But okay. Hmm. I don't have to tell you none. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. And we're just surprised that you're ballsy enough to do something like this after we've just trounced you every time we've encountered you. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to, to restore this awful sky to normal. Ugh. That earnest goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. These motherfuckers are just busting my balls here. Enough. I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but it won't let you get in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Sema. You take charm. Is this actually going to be like a, a hard battle? Why is it like there's like... Oh, she's got like a tie. I thought there was like a weird like fungus on her boob or something. Uh, I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go. And ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Especially in this, the battle of a lifetime. Is it? I just fought God. I don't know if it's going to be the battle of a lifetime. Oh, you got two Pokemon. Whoa. Look what you had previously. Right on. I got Big Boy coming out first, yeah? Yeah, let's go, Cooler Chad. Yeah. Let's go. We got Leaf Blade and Earth Power. Let's go Leaf Blade. Well, I just realized I needed to bump up uh, Mister's stuff. I'll do it later. Again? Okay. Uh, I'll do Earth Power. 
I don't really know what's coming up next, but I don't imagine it's going to be very hard to deal with. And... Gengar! Ground type's not going to work against him, I don't think, so... Yeah, I don't think Kuichat has anything, like, actively good to deal with him, but... We'll see if he lives. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to, like, actively switch someone out, though. What kind of lineup do I got? Yeah, he's one of the more powerful people on the team, so it's fine if he goes down. Because I think if I just switch someone out, they're just going to get, like, blasted. Oh, it is super effective. I didn't realize Grind was super effective. Oh, he's just going to die. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, honey, honey is the best option right now. Cause I don't, I don't want Meatball to get to get melted. Uh, Dark Pulse. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Guess everything now is gonna be this high of a level, so everything is just gonna be a lot of me like making sure my types are well balanced. So that's what I'll be rolling with right now. Oh, honey, made it to 51. Congrats. Yeah, that was quick. Come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We are changing. And we can really use someone as strong as you are. Is she strong? Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back at that place with all its stupid rules. Look. We'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you better do something about that sky. You're strong as ever, Sema. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. Mm, maybe. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. And there they go. Well, bye bye Honestly, those three, what did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll help everyone's Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you. That coin, the coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need, even if she groused as she did so. I suspect they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. Uh, maybe. And they should have said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. <laughs> this game said... <laughs> they have no rights. I was able to extract some of that origin ore, or whatever it is you wish to call it. Isn't that literally what, like, red ore is in Minecraft? I don't, I don't know enough about Minecraft to actually, like... <laughs> actually know that... Uh, I suppose I'd better go with you, Sema. Yeah, what are we doing with this again? I think we're making another red chain with it. Uh, I can't remember. Thank you for this origin ore. Uh, an ore of mysterious power. Spoken of in ancient myths and said to contain the power of Almighty Sino itself. It was also just in this random cave. Uh, that was surprisingly easy. <laughs> I agree with you, Adaman. No, you simply fail to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work. Honestly. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver recognizes you as a worthy warden. Aw. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Laventin's got sound judgment, plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. Look, I can't take him seriously with that damn hat. They really should just get rid of it at some point. Oh, good, 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 good. I do not need to be walking back. Ooh, someone died right in front of the cave entrance. I'm assuming they didn't win the Benny fight. Uh, Professor... Professor, hello. Please move the story forward. So the stone of creation's beginning, the origin ore. Hmm. Yeah, one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? Is this rock the Big Bang? I've been meaning to ask since we brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything, by the sound of it. This rock is just the Big Bang. Exactly. 
Now then, back we go to Jubilife Village. Uh, okay. Honestly, should have just done that and then gone and took care of the stuff with Mister. I don't know though. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a long ass cutscene, isn't it? Uh, here you are, Professor Leventon. What remains of the red chain, broken as it may be. Broop. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all those broken bits back at the temple. Hooray! You're up next, Emma. Time for... Um... Whatever we're calling that stone. And I hand this to you. He handed over the origin ore. The fragments of the red chain, collected at great personal risk by the Pearl Clan... Then the stone's creation, the, then the stone of creation's beginning, which we first learned of thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now it's time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Ray, my boy, you are one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? Oh, that's right. He's a he's a, a craftsman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just wait, Sema. You'll finally see what I'm truly capable of. He just breaks it. Uh, this may take some time. Perhaps r the rest of you had better wait outside while we work. Okay? Will this actually be important to wait? Okay, we're chatting. You got a headache, buddy? Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurry it up in there. I'm starting to suspect all your prattling... But the value of time is a cover for your own impatience. I mean, it probably is true, but not really. Uh, if sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever. Because that'd be using time well. Unlike this. He's angry. There is not going to be a point to us wait. Oh, yeah. It literally was just like, hey, let's have this cutscene. Uh, I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Ooh, a new ball. It's weird. You obtained it, the Origin Ball. A singular and irrepl irreplicable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. So this is basically just this game's version of the Master Ball. This better go into, like, key items so I don't accidentally yeet it at a tree. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all Hisu could rest in something so tiny. How interesting. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these brings the two of you closer together. Yeah, that really is not explained. Uh, hold on. Hold on. It's that voice. I can hear it in my head again. I want to know so bad what Dialga is supposed to sound like. You mean Dialga? Yeah. Seems like mighty Dialga is willing to lend its strength to this fight. And that's what it's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. I mean, it's not really Dialga's choice whether I pick up that Pokeball or not. If it gets forced into my inventory, I'm going to be annoyed... Uh, the Diamond Clan's Almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps I should say Dialga, is fearsomely powerful. Everything's ready to go now, Sama. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Dialga. No. I don't think... Could I have just, like, straight up killed it? I don't know. Would I, would I have been forced to, like, catch it? I'll have to test that, because I want to play through again, but with, like, a save where I'm not, I'm not, like, trying to, like, really, like, indulge in the story and whatnot. The plan just being to, uh, like, get through it as fast as possible. Uh, I'm gonna real quick do some business with the raw, where is it? I need, I think gritstone is what I need with the satchel. Uh, I think I just need three. So I want to boost up Mr.'s actual, like, attack. Yeah, attack's at four. 
Oh, I'm already at six? Oh, so that's right, because it's at seven. Um, who else is compatible? Uh, maybe Meatball? Yeah, I could make it a little bit higher. Yeah, okay. I still want to get this up to... Move just one. And use on Mr. Attack, please. What is your attack now? I'm assuming it's pretty high. Check summary. Oh, they're exactly the same. Huh. That is interesting. I like the shape of uh, his whole business. Uh, ooh. Let me let me lead with Yoda. I don't know what she's about to do. I feel like she's about to fight me. Uh, she's gonna fight me or tell me that Volo has fucked off <laughs> and is pulling some shit. Cause I keep I keep waiting for something like that to happen. Uh, all right, what news you got for me, ma'am? Kogita, Kogita, yeah. Uh, and here you are, lost one, ready to face your fate atop Mount Coronet. She always looks really sad. It seems a vicious battle might await you. I'll go where I must, or I, I guess I'm... I got, yeah, I'll go. I, I think there's a sense of insurity. Like, I, I, I guess I'm going, yeah. Like, I don't really seem to have a choice here. Come now, child. I know you did not choose this burden, and it must weigh mightily on you. But you can bear it. You have your friends, your allies, and most importantly, your Pokemon. Now, hearken my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. That being you will encounter at the Temple of at Temple of Sinnoh is Palkia, ruler of all space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend here and hiss and hiss you, and eventually the very world may be broken. I also really want to play again because I'm curious how things will change depending on which like which i think they're called lords i think lord is the to is the term for them i'm curious how things will be changed if you initially are dealing with palkia first as opposed to dialga and i'm pretty sure that's just going to change based on that one decision a bit back when you're like do you want to be working with the diamond clan specifically or do you want to work with the pearl clan specifically because it it seems like that's what is causing this difference. At least that's what my guess is. I'm guessing it's not L, like an actual, like... Like, I'm assuming that it's not going to be a, like, a, a, a chance every single time you play. It's like, maybe this will pop out first, and maybe this will pop out second. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, Kogita, you have the aid of its counterpart, the Alga, the ruler of time, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space... And the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Yalga at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Let me go without Dialga, please. Uh... This is annoying. I don't want to take it with me. Uh, can I just like, go around you? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> so mad. Fine, I'll take Dialga with me. Ugh. Why is this cutscene so dang long? Just be like, you have to take Dialga. Let me be done with it. I did my best. Marie. I have to. It would make the most sense. To bring him instead of Daphne. Wait, they didn't gender. Okay, there's no gender. Cool. Uh, let me just let me just check like the summary. Let me check. Uh, so we have this. Like. It's only slightly better than than Daphne. 
and that's a like a, a 14 level difference uh fine let me see the difference okay so I don't remember I think I think the I think Palkia is I think it's steel water so Yoda is gonna be like absolutely monstrous against it um but i don't know let me let me save here because i feel like it i mean it makes sense for them to like make sure you have a pretty decently like leveled pokemon before heading there and thematically it does make sense oh my gosh this whole goddamn cutscene again Go side, maybe send it once more. Yeah, that really should have been smoothed out in the like earlier that they have to do the whole cutscene again. Uh, I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has on offer. Excuse me, is this the time for shopping? Adaman, what is she gonna do? What the hell is she gonna do? Well, I hardly have time for shopping if the world were end. Will I, young man? <laughs> yeah, you got your priorities. Fair point. Yeah, if the world is ending, I might as well look good for it, even though I already look the, the best out of here. Uh, Alright, Sama. Once you feel ready, set out. We'll make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Da -da -da. Why did I have to do that cutscene so many times? Ugh. <laughs> that, that actively irks me that they had that happen. Three, three separate times. Fine. Ugh. But I don't have to do it again. At least I know for the future that I should not give a shit. Ooh, wait. If the world's gonna end, I'm gonna I'm gonna end rich. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I think Yeah, as long as nothing changed, there should be So I think someone dropped some shit. I'm surprised there's not a, a teleport to the temple. But, eh, not my business. Eh. Wasn't there something here? Uh, yeah, there is something here. Is it in the tunnel itself, maybe? Maybe... Yeah, it's likely just inside the tunnel. Oh, wait, is this it? Oh, yeah. I think he just got cornered. Rip Ente? Dang, Ente. Now a trainer. Lost and found. Ooh, yeah, you're gonna want that. Yeah, Ente. Oh, Ente lost a lot of shit. What rip and beast is Ente? Uh, I hope you're in. Every time I see someone who's lost, like, just a lot of stuff in a row. I'm always hoping they're an NPC, like, like they're not real, because I just feel bad. Someone's losing just, like, a ton of stuff. Uh, there's a lot of time to get this kind of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna just grab the iron here, because I'm assuming the... Volo! Okay, here, here. Uh, I want to look at this. Just the person I've been waiting for. You got one last thing to sell me? I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if it's at a pier close to the temple. I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. This music is so sus. <laughs> this is so suspicious. Uh, oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, 
I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. This is such, like, evil music. <laughs> I love it, though. It, like, reminds me of Professor Layton music, and it is 100% my jam. Uh, I know all too well the strengths of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. Do you actually have anything that I can buy? Okay, you do have max revives, which I think are fantastic. Uh, what am I healing? Uh, that's probably fine. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up like one, one more. Uh, just because I really am sus of you. And I'm actually going to turn off autosave. I turn off autosave. No, this is what's the right button. Settings. Let me turn off autosave because I have a feeling. Yeah. I have a feeling something might happen that will it, it will autosave between points, and I want to have control over that saving right now. And I doubt anything hardware wise is going to happen negatively, so I'm not concerned with that. Okay. Let's fucking go. Fingers crossed I'm right about Palkia being water steel, because I think that I think Yoda's gonna be our best bet. Uh can I Yeah. Let's go, weird deer. Everything got so much walking. I think the same setup as last time. Hi, Kamado. Kamado, Kamado, forget. Kamado. Uh for for so long. I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilife Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokémon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you've shown me I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? Sure. I'm ready to fight. I'm going to stab a bitch. Hey, Sema, let's meet tomorrow together. Yeah, what, what's that supposed to mean? It's a saying we've got on the Diamond Clan. It means uh, you hope. It means you hope you'll both stay safe. Ah, that is that's very sweet, but out of context. That's very out of nowhere. Hmm. Perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. This is gonna be. I hope this is gonna be actually like an intense fight. I don't know if it actually will, but I'm getting ready. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Sema, protect Hisu and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. Got it, Buster. I'm assuming once the game wraps up, that that time rift is still going to be there, but I don't actually know for sure. All right. Look at my little ankles. Breathe in and breathe out. Ah, let's go. Yo, okay. Who is being deployed? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. You just exploded everything. Yeah, yeah, what happened? Oh, hey! You forced me to play Dialga. I see how it is. Video game. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Oh, let's not go. Oh, I hate that. That's bad. Where did his arms go? What is happening? What is happening? That is horrendous. Ugh. Okay. That was a long... Oh, it's a sandbag! Oh, it's a sandbag! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, I teleported! I teleported! Oh, good. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Ugh. Okay. Uh, oh. 
Okay. This isn't too bad. Oh, nope, that bad. That was bad. I have, like, no sense of, like, what is actually happening right now. Just, like, yeet. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Uh. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Oh, I didn't even have to move out of the way there. That was fine. Yeah, this is okay. We're doing good. Oh, okay, okay. That's bad. Look. And one more? No? Okay. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, okay. You're yelling. You're yelling. I'll take that. Ugh, don't trust you. Yeah. Get your butt. Let's get your butt. Oh, you just immediately smacked me. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not mad about that, because that was really weirdly telegraphing. The music was too loud to actually, like, communicate to me when I was getting hurt. Uh, but, like, this so far has not been hard at all, which I'm fine with. Yeah, let's keep the progress. I don't feel like doing this battle, battle again. It doesn't feel engaging, really. There we go. And there's been, like, no, like, reason for me to... Can I just throw out... Oh my god, okay. Can I just... Okay, there's not even been, like, a moment for Pokemon to deploy. Which I find weird. This whole time they've been, like... Like, like, make sure to deploy your Pokemon. Yeah. We're already almost done. Yeah, that was anticlimactic. I hope there's actually a fight gonna happen. No? Okay. Okay. <gasps> Book! Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gonna work? Oh. Gotta, gotta press B. Down down B. Yeah! And now it's time to ascend. Wow! Yeah! Everything's better now. Yay! Yeah, this better not be like the very end, because that was an anticlimactic uh, fight. Aw, but everything's all back together now. The the ceiling is gone, which I hope there's no one below who got hurt. Uh. Aw. Sema caught it. Really did it, didn't Sema? Eyes aren't lying, right? Sema actually went and caught it. Oh, good show. What a catch. You obtained that fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely outstanding as ever, Sema. Thank you. Thanks, Sinnoh. I mean, that was your god, I think. Technically. Just what I expected from my protege. Aw, that's cute that you still consider... <laughs> consider me a protege. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh, is he crying? Oh, It's getting emotional. So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. I mean, how often do you see people cry? Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. <laughs> she just yeeted them? <laughs> Ouch, what gives, Commander? Not sure I deserve a sumo throw. Like how we didn't, like, go anywhere. They just were like, yeah, sound effect of throwing. That's it. That's all we get. Sorry, bapped the mic. Uh, hmm. Well, at least it seems this is no dream. Hmm. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for all of us. Gather up your clans, this will be the greatest celebration Hisu has ever seen. 
will celebrate with the Diamond Clan? The two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we were both following a true Almighty Sinnoh of our own, I guess the times when we fight over whose was right or wrong are age history now. Mm-hmm, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm sure our ancestors will be shocked to see us agree. But this may well be the best path to towards protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in Hisu region. Is this is this really it? How long has the stream been? It's been like fifty minutes basically. Not even. Why am I hanging him back? It's called Legends Arceus. Where's Arceus? Why oh, am I smiling at? Okay. Well, that's it? Okay. Yeah, where where is Arceus in all of this? Was that really it? I'm... I am stunned. Huh. I I can't say that I, this may be controversial. I have no idea what people's like reactions have been to this game in regards to the ending, but that felt that felt Wrong? <laughs> oh, boys! I don't know how to put it. Um, like, I know there's post-game and everything, so there's gonna be more content, but I, I'm i typically someone who, when I'm playing a, a game, regardless of how, like, impactful or, like, changing the... I need to turn down the friggin' ending music because this seems to be loud. Uh, but, like, regardless of, like, how how much the ending is like actually an ending or whatnot i have this weird thing where like if an ending is like when i see the credits in a game typically for me that's like where i tend to like wean off in a game because i really like like getting a conclusion and post games you don't really get a conclusion you just kind of keep going uh until you don't feel like going through the content anymore or you just run out of content so at this point this is kind of where I'll probably be leaving off. I, I definitely imagine I'll keep pursuing certain things. There's still some quests I haven't done yet that I'll like to dig into. But, yeah, that as the ending, it felt off. Like, there wasn't a prompt in the fight to, like, deploy Pokemon or ha actually have a battle. And they're all going on about, like, like, oh, make sure you have your Pokemon ready, make sure you're ready to go. Uh, I was expecting a pretty intense fight, and I'm surprised that the the last fight, that the last straight up fight in this that you cannot avoid, is with the Bandit Sisters who have two Pokemon. That feels so weird. Like I I imagine you should be able to fight in that final pocket fight, and I I'm guessing maybe either. I just didn't note the times when it was an opportunity, or I took it down too quickly, um, which I don't imagine is the thing. Um, I I doubt that I'm very proficient with it. I think I'm decent with a sandbag mechanic, but huh, that just didn't feel like that 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 fight with Dialga. That felt like the ending. Like that felt satisfying. And then they're like, oh no, it's Palkin, it's even bigger and scarier. And the whole, like, heading off and you have to have Dialga with you. And I was like, I was thinking that it was because they want to make sure you at least have, like, a tight matchup. But, no, you can do that whole final sequence without fighting at all. And, like, I mean, the sandbags, you don't have to use Pokemon, but I didn't even get a prompt. I'm, I'm so incredibly confused. I'm incredibly confused. Oh, I do like this, though. This ending art is extremely cute. 
I, I think despite my qualms with this ending, I do like this game overall. I think it is incredibly fun and breathes a really a really nice air into Pokemon mechanically and like conceptually. But yeah, that ending that I was not I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, but there's still more game technically. <laughs> Seek out all Pokemon. Thanks God. Guess yeah, I'm literally not gonna be fighting God. Uh huh. Okay. This makes sense if I'm just chatting with God. Uh. Huh. Prepare well, then make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Didn't I already do that? Qua? Where's, where's, huh? Oh, I just need to, like, literally finish with the quest. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no. Yeah, I guess technically, yeah, I haven't finished the quest. Uh, I need to chat with the commander and let him know. So I guess at this point, yeah, the major quest is to fill up the Pokedex, which is kind of what the original point of all this was. Uh, morning, Sema. What's up, boy? So the space-time rift is gone. I think this means we can finally close the book on this whole mess? Well, in any case, there's one book we can't close yet. The Pokedex. Time to get back to our official Survey Corp's duty of completing it. We're going to meet in the Survey Corp's office to discuss how we'll tackle the work that's left. See you there, Sama. Bye! Uh, head to the Survey Corp's office to discuss what's next. Oh, I guess, yeah, it is just gone. Huh, okay. Uh, let's just see here. Yeah, I guess I head to the office. Wait. Oh god, this is so important. Wait, has this lamp always been here? God, I have no idea. Maybe. Uh, here's some galaxy folks plan to turn one of our base camps into a new village. Oh, shit. That'd be interesting. Baby's first colonialism. Uh, oh, yeah. Wanda's so missing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, who are you? Coachella? Kochika. Oh, I have a I have a co-worker whose name is basically that. Uh, you're the talented Survey Corps member I keep hearing about, right? I have a favor to ask of you. You know Orboro Tunnel? Yeah? That tunnel near Obsidian Falls? Yeah. I'm hoping to dig into the tunnel walls to see if I can find any good stone there. But a Pokemon's been raging about and getting in my way. That's more than I can handle. Think you can calm it down for me? I'll do my best, yeah. Not actively. Is it that friggin' not a go not a, is it a golem? Graveler. Graveler is what it is. Uh at least what I've been seeing pre previously. Maybe there's a new guy there. Thanks a ton. Please head down the tunnel once you're ready to calm the Pokemon down. Are you sure. Obsidian yeah, Obsidian Field Lands is the original area. I'm imagining whoever this Pokemon is can be pretty chunky power wise. Uh hey! Silene. So is there going to be any, like, actual context for why they had a cutscene with her where she was, like, terrified of a Wurmple? Or are they just going to be like, Ah, oh, lady, scared of bug, ooh, for no goddamn reason. Uh, so I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. You had a blast. I sure did. Indeed. It only seems natural, given the crowd. I believe last night was the first time I've caught... A glimpse of you making merry, Captain. Oh, I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Laventon, the business. What is the current state of the po progress on the Pokedex? I dare say we've made quite significant progress, all in all. Though we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. Ugh, God, it's like being back at work. Uh, and of course, it is hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokemon have only been mentioned in Hisu Legends, after all. Who knows if they're even real? Yeah, we're still relatively new to these parts. How do we... How are we to know what's true and what's not? I mean, we're pretty buddy-buddy with, uh, Diamond and Pearl Clan, so maybe we can ask them. They probably have a much deeper, uh, range of knowledge than we do. Pardon, but I couldn't have over here. 
Yeah! Volo! I know you are sus. I know you are, but I'm not entirely sure what the context is. Uh, if Hisu and history and legend what you want, then I'm your man. Why? I've spent plenty of time studying such things ahead of... Um, wait. Why? I spent plenty of time studying such things instead of... Mm hmm. I mean, while also tirelessly doing my work for the Ginkgo Guild. Oh, so okay, just being like, I've slacked off my work. Uh, and I've visited many ruins and whatnot here in the Hisu region already. I imagine I can teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. Oh, music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, Sama. You are to learn all you can from the merchant Volo and work together as needed. For the sake of the Pokedex. Nothing more. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means. Other means? I'm literally the main source of, like, doing this shit here. Uh, understood. I'll set up at the Heights Camp, then. Sema, I'll be expecting you. Where's Heights Camp again? I don't know where that is. Uh, ooh. Besides, I've got something I'd like to discuss with you, too. So I hope you don't keep me waiting. Do what the hell I want. Uh, okay. I don't think there's anything else in this building. I know, I know the guy downstairs wants pears. But I haven't actually, like, looked into where the pears are. And I don't really care where the pears are. Uh, let's see. You. We got some great stock at the moment. Look at what I got right now. Catch your eye. Mechanical box, mysterious box, and unusable shoes. Huh. Can I buy all of them? I want this mechanical box. This sounds interesting. 20,000! I'll think on that! Holy shit. 8,000. Okay, it's a bit more reasonable. How about the shoes? That, I'll take that. Thank you. The shoes will fit me. Are they actually shoes? Are they in my hands? What the hell are these shoes? Where the where are these shoes? I just bought them. Key items. Where are the shoes? Where did you put them? Uh not in here. Oh, wait. Fucking radish. Sand radish. I need three of these. Yes, please. Thank you. Some guy downstairs needs them. Entering, please. I need to know what is going on between him and the main merchant. I'll look at these unusual shoes later. I'm assuming the shoes are, like, actually a, uh... A wearable thing. Okay. Ah, uh, the survey corpse recruit who quelled the Lord of the Hollow. Yes, that's the only thing I've done. Uh, I'm sorry to keep you getting roped into errands on my account. To tell the truth, I'd be happy just to get my corpse products out of the shop. I'd happy. I'd be happy to just get my corpse products out of the shop for free. But that'd mean letting Choi off the hook. And the very idea of that sets my teeth gnashing. Are you bound for the Alabaster Iceland soon? Would you bring me back three sand radishes? I've actually got some right now. Ginkgo Guild is a great resource. Ooh, you're back with the veggies? Well done, gathering them in that harsh climate. Yes, I worked very hard for them. Would you let me have three sand radishes? Sure. Here you go, buddy. You handed over three sand radishes. Ah, sand radishes. The Alabaster Iceland's finest feature. If you give these bitter roots a nice, thorough pickling, it brings out a unique sweet sweetness. Ugh. I hate, like, a sweet element in anything pickled. Uh, once they're pickled, they make for a lovely, crisp, and quite well-liked snack. My granddaughter makes a fine pickle, I'll tell you what. Perhaps I'll ask her to give one of these a nice, briny soak. Anyway, I'm sorry to have kept on using you as a go-to between Choi. I suppose it's time I had a proper conversation with the whelp. Can I please be involved? 
I need to know. Oh, you bitch. Okay, well, there's someone out here who needs something. Manny. Manny! Ah, who isn't one of our beloved customers? Might I trouble you to help me with a little survey work? Sure. In my family, we've always passed on tales of some ancestor that lived in a village around the avalanche slopes. But I've never been able to find any hints of such a settlement ever existing. I'm beginning to doubt the tales are true. But everyone wants to know about where they came from, don't they? So help me out. If you can find any evidence of people ever living around the avalanche slopes, traces of a lost village. Yeah, I'm down for that. I don't think I've, I haven't explored the last two areas all that in depth. So I'm imagining I'm missing a lot of stuff. Uh, that shouldn't be too hard. Heights Camp is in... I think that's in the Cornet Highlands. Please, please, cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Yes! Now listen, I'll set you up with some new goods, but as a favor to Sema, not you. Don't think for one second this means I've accepted I've accepted you. <gasps> oh. Dip damn, did Choi hook up with his granddaughter? Oh. <laughs> but to who, sir? Please, Grandpa, I can't believe this is still an issue for you. <gasps> oh, this is good. <laughs> Yui. How long have you been... What? Is our little store not worth worthy to sell your goods? It's like about letting personal feelings get in the way of your business. Oh, dip damn. If you keep this up, Grandpa, I swear I'll never speak to you again. God, but why is this fucking rid off? You, you swore you'd never get married and leave your poor gramps. Oh, this is so excellent. Who in their right mind takes a tiny child's words so seriously? I'm so sorry my grandpa has been such a bother to you, Sama. I hope this doesn't put you off visiting our shop. No! Oh, oh, bye, I guess? Okay. Oh, she this is a long walk. Well, in any case, we've got some excellent new items in our stores. Do you buy some? Man, do I love some family drama. Ah, excellent. So, yeah, what do you got? Do you want? Yeah. I can finally purchase Ultra Balls. Yay. This makes me happy. This makes me very happy. Oh, what's this? Oh, just more cake. Uh, I need to sell you some stuff. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Ginkle Guild. Uh, what bold new hairstyles? Yeah, where is my good, good boy? Gotta get Daphne back. I'm sick of having to have this Dialga in my hand. Uh, it's just... Oh, wait. Shit. Palkia. Yeah. Move. I'm gonna see this. Oh, I'll put most in here. Yeah, back to survey work. Yahoo. Definitely what I'm doing. Uh, the Alga will go right here. Okay. And Palkia, I hope you look like normal Palkia, because if not, I'm going to be a little annoyed. Okay, thank goodness that wasn't permanent. Uh, oh, look at the, um, look at these boys. Yeah, that's a squad right here. I love what Diago looks like, like looking into the camera like you see this shit. Oh, I do a do a scrim. Can I like look directly at the camera? Oh, big yelly. Yeah. Wait, I want one of them to scream. <laughs> Make a little squeaking. Alright, one of you yell. Do it for the camera. Smile for the camera, boys! Oh, we're just doing out all animations now. Aw, oh, I think it's close enough. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Yeah. Alright, back into the box you go forever. 
Uh, Pokemon can leave with the yes. Move. Thank you. And Slugu. There we go. Do, 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 do. Balance is restored. Keep it up. Ooh, for a split second she had like the wings of the of the haunt crow behind her, and it looked incredibly cool. Uh, I think I have some more stuff to drop into this box. Uh, there's still, I know that there's still a bunch of Bidoof running around the camp, and I think that's incredibly funny to not at all like take care of. It's like, oh, there's a bunch around camp, and that's weird. Okay. I'm gonna save real quick because I don't actually know how like actively like narrative forward moving this is gonna be. Uh to hang out with Volo, hang out outside of town. Uh oh, Heights Camp. Oh. This for hot Heights Camp was already in the like original area. I'm assuming we're looking at that uh set of carvings in the back, because I've noticed that for a while. Yeah, that's exactly where we're heading. I'm glad we're finally addressing these, because I was wondering what the uses for these were going to be for the longest time. Uh, Sema! There you are! Have a look at here, if you will. A good, long, close look, please. See these patterns modeled after Pokemon? I've come to think that they might be letters. Okay. Uh, rather like hieroglyphics, if you will. I've inspected ruins across the region, and I've concluded they all seem to tell the same tale. Okay. The tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. Okay. All-encompassing. Yes. An all-encompassing deity. The creator of this very universe. And its name is... Arceus. Interesting. So you know its name. Perhaps you've already heard his name. It does sound familiar. It's literally in my phone. Uh, of course. What else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisu region? Now, let us discuss the fabric. The fat frag mints. <laughs> <laughs> they must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzied nobles. Haven't you noticed they all have words carved into their backs? Go on, give them a read. <laughs> Go on, read them. You read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. Is that the... The original one breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So, what do you say, Sama? I think we should try to gather all the plates. I might have a good portion of them, but I don't think of all of them. And I've got just the idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of the Grueling Grotto. Grueling Grotto. Grueling, Grueling Grove. I don't know where that is. That is here. This lake, for the longest time, I have been wondering what was up with it. Let me grab this request, though. It should be here. You. Oh, you help? Nay, hey, what's up? So we meet here again. I've been hearing plenty about your impressive exploits. But of course, I've always known you would impress us ever since you dealt with that alpha cricketoon for me. I've had my hands full as well. I have no idea why, but Munchlax keeps trying to run off in different directions. He <laughs> baby. And there he goes. Munchlax, where are you off to now? Oh, I love the little sound effect of it walking. Oh. I'm not sure what he's so focused on. But he just up and disappears without warning. Keeping track of him has been quite the task. Oh, man. Well, my phone probably has a message about it. Baby? Baby boy? What was that just now? It almost seemed to be responding to Munchlax. 
Your ARC phone is reacting to Munchlax and displaying his destination. Oh, he just needed Google Maps. Hmm. It's pointing to Ramonas Island. I don't know what that is. My, my. Isn't this exciting? I wonder if we're about to see another strange phenomenon sweep across Hisu. What do you think, Munchlax? Or perhaps I'm reading too much into things. Could I ask you to visit Ramonas Island to try and shed some light on this new mystery? I adore that the Munchlax is looking back and forth between us. That is such an excellent subtle touch. A new anomaly. Yeah. I'm curious as hell as to what's going on here. Uh, Volo takes precedence though. Sorry. You do. We're heading. Yeah, this grove over here, which shouldn't take too long to get to. Just gotta sneak past the Stantler, who never seemed to be happy to see me. But I mean, like that's their business. And I know there's like a like a, a sprint option with the bird, but I've actually seen it tested. And it doesn't actually make you, you go faster, it just helps you keep altitude. So a situation like this, where I'm not losing too much altitude, it's actually faster to not, like, touch it at all. Uh, it's also loud as shit, and really annoying to actually utilize. So I am going to give everyone uh, a peace of mind. Uh, great. Okay. I'm going to say before I encounter this, because I don't know what he's about to do. I'm guessing we're about to do something interesting. I'll have... I'll have... Ooh, that's going to hurt. Oh, Wait, where's the... There's my hair cross around here. Where is it? Did you despawn the hair cross? Oh, oh, okay. Hello. Now, Sema... According to my own investigations. <laughs> An Alpha Vespa Queen. It's terribly sorry, Sama, but do you think you can handle it? Is that normally around here? Sure. Oh, I don't like that it's a little thing pulsed. Yeah. Woo! This is a thick one. Uh, let's do baby doll eyes. No, not... Yeah, baby doll eyes just to keep it from being super strong. Okay. Bug buzz. Oh, that was super effective. And not do as much as I would expect it to. Can I... No, okay. Just normal. That, yeah, it didn't do much. Oh, it didn't do as much because I literally just did a thing that would, like, keep it from doing as much damage. Thank you. Ooh, crit. Am I gonna live? Nope. That's fine. Uh, Mister. Uh, yeah. Let's do, let's do let's just do meatball. Meatball seems to have a very low. Seems to need a lot of XP to actually level up. So I need to do Mystic Fire. Just wipe it. Goodbye. Yeah, we're all good. Sorry, honey. I obtained the stone plate. A stone plate imbued with the essence of rock. You use a certain Pokemon to allow the Pokemon to gain the rock type. So I guess it's just going to be running around doing a string of alpha battles? Why did that Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe we just happened to find the plate lying around. In any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information about. So, that's that. Yet nothing seems to be happening. Which makes me suspect there's still more plates left out there for us to find. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about the plates. Gogeta? I'm assuming it's Kogita. The one and only Mitris Kogita. Yes. 
I haven't had the chance to properly thank her for her help in obtaining the red chain. Am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. So, onward to the ancient retreat. Oh, sweet. We actually get to, like, decide to go there. Is someone aggroed to me? Oh, it's back. Where is it, though? Okay, there it is. Yeah, so they just, like, despawned it for this fight. Oh, I never actually checked to see um, about the the shoes. I need to check the shoes. Uh, also, I wanted to check how many plates I have and how many types there are. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven plates. And I don't know how many types there are, but there I have that type matchup. So three types. We have 11 currently, and there are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's, there's 7 plates still to go. Uh, this isn't the worst thing in the world. Yeah, sure. Illuminating. Got two for Palkia. Five tasks done. Oh, I just finished up Vesper Queen. Sweet. Uh, let me return to the village. I need to check if I got new shoes. Because I don't know where the shoes are unless they're in my closet. Um, I don't know if they look decent. I spent, I spent, I spent 5,000 bucks on them. Uh, hello. Do you have new stuff? You do have new styles. I'll, 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 I'll briefly check. So we have some new kimonos. Uh, toxic insect. Little bugaboos. Plates. Argyle. I appreciate these patterns, but that's not why I'm here. Ursa Luna. Basque Legion. Electrode. Alvalug. Bravery. Really? I'm surprised there's not one, like, for the, the lords. Interesting. Okay. Oh, sick! Ninja clothes. That's actually very fun. Uh, I'll look into that later. Gita shoes. Split shoes. Glasses. Is this going to be in the same collection as... Yeah, there are a lot of things in here. No, okay. I'm guessing... I know there's like a ninja mask. I don't know if there's going to be in the head section, though. Headband section. Head scarf. Worn cap. Bowler hat. Ninja mask. Finally, we can... <laughs> we can mask up responsibly. Uh, Yeah, that's fun. I'll look into that later. I'm all done shopping. Let me check the shoes, though. Uh, but, uh, change clothes. Shoes. Slippers, survey corpse, snow boots, fancy, fancy, fancy. Slippers? Are these the unusual shoes? I sure as hell didn't buy these. Leave that changing, please. I, I think that was it. I think it was slippers. That's hilarious if that's what it was. Uh, I would like a mistress box, please. Uh, I'll take it. Great choice. All yours, then. I obtained an upgrade. Transparent device somehow filled with all sorts of data. It's loved by certain Pokemon. Okay. So I know that's for... Porygon? I think. Yeah, it's an evolution item. I'm hella curious on what tw what twenty thousand boxes move from iron storage. Yeah, let's move it. Uh, we're going to Kogita's place, which is oh, we do get to teleport here. Yay! Yes, please. I would like to go see Miss Kogita. She seems like a lovely woman. Oh, she's not drinking tea right now. 
Surprise. Oh, wait, she got little flowers? Ooh, these are pretty. I'm surprised. Well, I'm not surprised they're not making it like a bush, but yeah. Ooh, the mountain. Mount looks like a mountain now. Should not be too surprising that a mountain looks like a mountain now, but it's, it's weird seeing it without the. Um. Without the swirlies on top. Uh, is Velo not here? Hi. Oh, lost one. It's miraculous what you've done. It seems the red chain served its purpose well. And you carried out your duty as you were bid. Oh, there's Velo. But what brings you here? Have you yet need of me? Uh, it's about the plates. Uh, yes. A tale whose origins lie a millennia or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sinnoh people from whom I am descended across many generations. Those forebears of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created Hisu. Oh, so... Well, we'll probably learn all this from her. I have heard of certain fragments, plates as they are called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon such as Cleaver and Weirdeer. Is that all? I thought that surely you could tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I have nothing new to tell you. Why, the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Dialga and Palkia with the Creator. Arceus, had anything been passed, had any concrete passed on? So, she was well aware that they were wrong. And, like, I mean, I doubt if she said anything, they would believe her. But, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, that just that information was lost to time. I'm curious if the lords, like, actively cared around these plates, and if the Diamond and Pearl Clan had any idea what they were for, because it seems like these have just been around, but I don't know why the Alpha Vesper Queen would just have that plate. Oh, it's a big question. I also like Kogiti's music a lot. I really like the music that's paired with Kogita uh, and Volo. It's very... It uses a string... A lot more heavily than the rest of the game, and I think I, just, I think I just enjoy string music a lot. Uh, if only we had more to go on. The answers to these mysteries may even shed light on why Sema here fell from the sky. Yeah, because I'm just stuck here. Ha! <sighs> I see what you intend. Very well. I'll help as best I can. There are still other tremendous Pokemon in Hisu. Other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for sure. But in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are the Pokemon of the Lakes, of course, and the Temple Giant, the Crescent Moon, the Volcano, and perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Now then, what would you hear of? Do you got, do you got Dark Moon? Do you got an evil boy? Okay, so the beginning. Three lake Pokemon. We got Mesfright. We got UXC. We got Azelf. The Volcano. We got Heathran. The Crescent Moon. We got Cressela. Temple Giant went Regigigas. And the beginning. I'm assuming that's Arceus. But I don't think Arceus has a plate. And the one we're missing is, uh, uh, Dark, Dark, Dark Cry, I think is what its name is. Though I think it's typically associated with the Crescent Moon, with Cressela. So I'll ask about, I'll cross about Cressela. Yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Um, let me think. I mean, there's just, like, we're an open sky, which can mean a lot of things. The moon's gaze unobstructed is going to be a cloudless region. So, either a cloudless region or a moon, a, a mountainless region. And, I mean, clouds could form anywhere. But, the lack of mountains is going to be the beach area. 
well, <laughs> make for Mount Corona Highlands for now. Sure. The plate of Moonvu area. Oh, is there literally a place called Moonvu Arena? Then what you hear of? Ah, uh, the beginning. That's a big mystery. Indeed, a beginning for you certainly. Where was it you first fell to Earth here on that beach? Oh, like literally the beginning. Oh, is this like, uh, what's it called? Uh, the 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 water, the Prince of the Sea. Um, the Manaphy. To hear of, tell me about, about the Temple Giant. I'll, I'll save the the Lake Pokemon for last. The secret that lurks in Snowpoint Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. Okay. I'm assuming I couldn't activate this before, so it's going to be some more puzzles. Uh, we got the Volcano. I'm, I'm assuming the puzzle for this one, because I know... No, the Reggie Gigas puzzle was always an option in the original Dino Pro games. I never actively pursued it, but it requires just like an asinine level of puzzle solving. Uh, so I imagine this is going to be a lot more simpler. It's going to be like, oh, we got just a couple more of the memory things. Also, here's how you solve it. Uh, well, that could, well, where, well, where could that be but Fire Spit Island? No shit. I love how she was just like, well, I had no idea where the plates could be. And Villa's like, well, can you think about it? And she's like, well, there's literally all these other Pokemon. Uh, we're missing seven. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. All the all these three are going to take care of everything. So that means Dark Ray is probably not associated with Cressel, actually. And the lake Pokemon. Uh, yes, them. You already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you become. Sure. Now then, what would you hear of? I think that's everyone. Ah, uh, never mind. Don't get questions, are you? Yes, I already think I've got everything. Very well, lost one. The rest depends upon you and your efforts. Because we all know Volo is not going to do anything, but watch. Uh, it appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokemon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed. For your own sake and for that of the Pokedex you labor on. Oh, is there just going to, in general, be more Pokemon in the world? Interesting. I knew we could rely on you, Miss Kogita. That's more than enough information to work with. Now, let us find those plates. Catch, Miss Fright, Azelf, and UXC. You got anything to say? Oh, just gonna repeat the left part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's head out. We're good. I think what I am going to do initially is just head to the beach. Curious what the beginning means if it's not Arceus itself. It's just, as I suspected, Pokemon are the key to our search, Sama. If we can gather all the plates from them and decipher the messages on the back of the plates, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go search for the Pokemon Kogita mentioned, Sama. I have my own avenues of research that I'd like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all Hisu, I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. Yeah, I wonder. Can I... Okay, this is annoying. Let me run into the river. Let me go splish splash. I think... Yeah, I think I'll... I have a, I have a, a vague idea uh, of what is coming at the end of this quest line. N nothing concrete, but there's definitely something coming. So I think this quest line I'll continue to pursue uh, on stream, uh, which will hopefully give me at least one more stream's worth after this. Uh, oh, I have a message from Mistress Kogita. I could be beat me back. Uh, I'm told you're collecting plates of some sort of merchant with that Volo. With some sort of with that merchant Volo. Huh. Turn away. Uh, then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. Okay. Sure. 
Can I just teleport? Yeah, let me teleport. It'll be faster. Yes, please. You turn around. I wish I could deploy a weird deer here. But I guess I can't when I'm back home. <laughs> weird deer's like, I don't want to go to this little village. Okay. Prelude Beach. I know how to come here for some reason already. Okay, here we go. Let me... Save. Nope. Yeah. I don't know if I'm about to immediately jump into a fight, but if I fuck it up. Why are you in your fighting clothing? Why are you in your your armor? Prelude Beach. Indeed, a place of beginning. Now is the time for words. Face me in battle? That's a bit fast. <laughs> no. No. the funniest shit <laughs> oh my god <laughs> just go away just no <laughs> obviously i'm just i'm checking if he's gonna be in his office i don't know i don't know what that i'm assuming we're just gonna fight him and he's gonna have like slightly more jacked up pokemon uh he is here he is here what's he gonna say I suppose there's no end to the study of Pokemon, even if the Pokedex is completed. It's not. God, the game is like, well, I didn't think you'd say no. But okay, here we go. God, that's hilarious. Man. Okay. I guess, I guess we're fighting him. I, I wish I hadn't have teleported because then there could have still been that illusion of like I, I see him there. He's sitting on the beach. Not doing not doing shit. Uh okay, oh, I gotta turn around. Okay. Let's fight him. I forgot what he has. I think just to be safe, just go out with Cooler Chad. Uh this is like a safe way to start. But I don't think he's gonna write on. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, like, just fighting him again for whatever reason. Oh. Bryce? Maldon. It's strangest in the sky helped bring the two clans and the galaxy can closer together. Every cloud, as they say, every cloud, as they say, has the potential to look like a dick. As the ancient saying goes. Okay, now I'll fight you. Face me in battle. Sure. Alright. What are you leading with? He's still got five. Okay. And it's gonna be Golem. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what he led with last time. Let's go. I think... Yeah, last time if I remember... Strong didn't wipe it out, so it's smart to just do normal. Okay, never mind. Bite. <laughs> Critical hits. We love it. Oh, God. Bravery. Please let me swap. No. No. I'm, I'm weak to that. Well, that sucked. Uh, what's super effective? Oh, Yoda. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeet. I am a bit annoyed that this, uh, this, like, th this whole mechanic system, they only give you the experience once it's all done. So if, like, you get through the whole battle and you wipe it, but you only have one Pokemon left, only that one Pokemon that's left is going to get XP, which I think is, it's a bit annoying. Uh, I think Thunderbolt. Get you Thunderbolt. 
Just, just a. Oh, it lived. Okay, we still got one more thing. Uh, quick attack. Should be fine. Solid. What else will you send out, sir? Snorlax. I better be faster than you. Oh, wait, no, it's... Oh, okay. Uh, can I quick attack and then heal? If I do this, then... Yeah, I'm not living through this next thing, though. Give me quick attack and then do something else. Critical hit. It's not super motivating. 75. I want to ensure hit. I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. I want to make sure I hit. Cause I'm not living. Okay. Good. Good. Oh right, I died. Shit. Uh, no one's gonna have anything super effective. Mister does, but I don't think Mister's gonna live. Uh, let's let's see what happens. I use a strong move and it died. Oh, I get a move. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Drain punch. Punch him. Oh, yo! I lived. What she got? The fable. Oh. Bye bye, mister. Uh, I can... I can flamethrower. At least hurt. I throw fire at your face. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's the hardest it can move. Ooh, burn. Excellent. Okay, full restore. And it was healed. What Pokemon do I got? Anybody that can, like, just crunch this guy? No. Oh, god, no. <laughs> Daphne's gonna get wrecked. Uh, if I do Drain Punch... Oh, that's not gonna heal nearly enough. Um... Ooh, what should I do? Uh, you know what? Mister is not living, so I'm going to do a powerful flamethrower. And seeing what this does. Maybe he gets it to half? Oh, that's close enough. So that burn again. So we like to see. I'm gonna do agile style. It's not gonna live through it. Yeah, sorry, mister. Let's see the burn. Honey! No, 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 Um... I think this is fine. I don't think you have any electric moves. You're, I think, just pure fairy type. Uh... I mean, Shadow Ball is the hardest hitting. Oh, okay. Okay, Liv. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah! Okay, who we got left? Heracross. It's Bug. Uh, I have nothing. Ooh. Wait, no, I do have something for it. Missing Fire. Okay. It's not as powerful. Yes, okay. So, Missing Fire one more time should just wipe it out. Yes! Let's go. Battle has been fucking decided. Okay. Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. That's true. All right, I didn't deploy Daphne at all. You've grown even stronger since we faced one on together, one another on Mount Cornet. It's clear you do not view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustful, trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach even greater heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, since you bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. Okay. You received the fist plate? Why the hell do you have this? A stone tablet imbued with the essence of the fighting spirit. 
When using a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the fighting type. Okay. From the very first of our Galaxy Exhibition team, myself, Benny, and, you know, the others, set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly held some kind of power, so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end with you. You likewise arrived on this on the same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Ottoman, Areda, it appear we're all being guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. Hmm. It might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. Why do you get studying that? Yeah, <laughs> I know her right to say this! But we truly are fortunate to have been able to count you among the Survey Court's ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Cornet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now then, carry on with your survey work. The knowledge that you collect about the wild Pokémon of this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. Sweet. The Plate of the Prelude Beach. That's sweet. That's kind of sweet. Based on Kukita's hints, it seems there might be four more plates left for you to find. I... I think there's a few more. I've only got 12 right now and there's like 17 types. Wait, who's this? Oh, child? What do you want? Shizu. Where do Pokemon come from? I don't know. They come from God. Is that, that's, is that serviceable? Oh, there's someone at the dojo that wants to chat? We got something for me. Shizu. I know you want to fight at some point. I'll, I'll do that. Just not right now. Uh, what do you want? Sisu. Hmm. Hello there, Sema. Hello. You know, we've got an interesting member in the security corpse. A secret weapon, if you will. They're a bit of a Pokemon battle master, in fact. Think I could trouble you to face our secret weapon in battle? Maybe later, I want to heal. If you're interested, let me know. I'd love to see a match between two real masters. Secret weapon. It's not... It's not Ingo, is it? I don't think so. No, I feel like it... I'd love to fight you, but I don't think it's you. Uh, rah! Mickey. I think I'll ask Melly of the Diamond Clan to join me for a sparring session sometimes. Servania. Aw, buddy. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Uh, but we got other fish to fry. We have to head to, I think, the ice region was where it was next that I'm looking for. Because it was uh, the, uh, the, the, the Moon View Arena, which I think is in... Uh, this northern area, the Alabaster Icelands. Uh, this was just Snowfields Camp, just because it's there. Hmm. The Moonview Arena. I think that's where Avalug was. Arena's approach. The Hot Springs. The Hot Springs. Avalug's Legacy, Pearl Settlement, Like Acuity. I don't actually see it. Ice Peak Arena. So no, that's not where it is. Moonville Arena is... Let me Google it. Just because I don't want to be wasting too much time. I'm starting to feel a little tired, but I want to do some more tonight. Uh, so I want to make sure that I don't burn myself out. Uh, Pokemon. Arceus. Moon. View. Arena. I just want the area. Don't give me any spoilers. 20 mission, move your winner plate, at least the move your winner Pokemon plates. Uh, oh, is it Mount Cornet? I saw, I saw a brief moment of melee, uh, so I think I have a vague idea of where it might be, and I think it's it, the Mount Cornet area. Oh, I got some research? I got my ass beat by Pokemon. Looks right, I already finished all my books right though. Yeah, only 10 points. That, that makes sense. 
I would like to turn to the village because I have to do that every freaking time I'm moving around. I do wish I could just teleport using the map, but I guess technically if all of these, like, going out into an area to do some work is them being like, oh, we're going on a very specific mission. For realism, it makes sense, but for, like, ease of, of life purposes, it's a bit annoying. Mount Cornet. I guess Summit Camp is fine. So it's the most likely one that's going to be somewhere useful. Uh... Moon, Moonview, Moonview Arena. Oh, I guess this is Moonview Arena. I wouldn't have guessed it because this is, it's a lot of, there's a big tree here. Uh, oh, 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 I triggered it. I don't suppose a grunt like you would even know, but I guess it behooves me to ask. Do you know the Pokemon called Cressula? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I do, but I'm assuming my character doesn't know. Well, she is an incredibly rare Pokemon. It's no fault of your own that you don't know about it. Cressula is said to be the very embodiment of the Crescent Moon. So it's the embodiment of a moon mostly covered up by the Earth. Okay. Her feathers are called Lunar Feathers. And legends say, legend says that if you hold one as you fall asleep, you'll be visited with wondrous dreams. That'd be cool. Well, I call her a nightmare. That pesky Cressula. She's ascended upon Moonview Arena and caused my lord to hide itself away. That is fucking hilarious. Ah, uh, this got. This legendary Pokemon, his feathers, his dreams, it's bothering my dude, my little man. I am so worried about Electrode, I can't even sleep, never mind dream. So she's just hanging out back there? Think you might be able to catch Cressula and perhaps even claim one of those lunar feathers? I mean, if I catch Cressula, I'm going to have as many feathers as I want. Oh, do catch that pesky flying croissant. <laughs> fucking croissant melly you are a gift and a treasure and a legend and i am so happy you are in this game because you're just an asshole <laughs> i love you <laughs> i think melly and theron should meet because i think that interaction would be the funniest shit <laughs> i suppose cressolet can't be all bad she at least recognizes the perfection of the arena Looked after with loving care by the great Melly. <laughs> My character's just like, mm hmm. Oh, we're just going. Okay. Oh, what's up? What's up? <coughs> See, there's nothing about this arena that makes me think that, like, oh, hi. Oh, we're just, we're just going. Oh, okay. Okay. This is fine. Oh, what's it? Okay. Shh. Okay. I can't. I can't. Where am I? Okay. Battle. Yeah, that was that was disorientating. Level seventy. Boy. Uh. Okay. So it's not. Not levitating, so that's good. Uh, Earth power should be helpful in terms of like lowering defensive stats for other things to hit it. Mm, okay, didn't do anything. Okay. Bye, Cooler Chad. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Honey, honey would be good. Honey would be good. I need I need to get some special some super special attacks to hit. Dark pulse. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Moon blast. Okay. Um, I think I think it will live through another another dark pulse. Oh. 
Oh, you asshole. Well, let me... Let me throw a Pokeball at you. See how you like that. Thank you. Yeet. Bada ba. Bada bang. There we go. Short, sweet, and to the point. Yep. That's about how I expected that to go. I obtained the Dread Plate. <laughs> Why do you have that? Uh, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of darkness. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the dark type. Interesting. Well, well, that is unexpected. Instead of a lunar feather, you got some kind of plate. I do feel power emanating from it, though. In any case, if Cressula did not give us, gift us with any of her feathers, then I suppose she thought we had no need for them. I don't think... I don't really know what intent this Pokemon has. Uh, not bad at all, Grunt. Though I suppose anyone with enough luck to the best, to best the great Melly, should be able to handle at least that much. Thinking about it, a halfway competent person like you might actually make a decent sparring partner to help with my lord and I grow stronger still. I will go back to the settlement and tell the others about the feathers that we didn't get. So, like, so the narrative here is basically Melly was complaining to people that uh, we got Cressel here and it's doing me a business. And then this woman was like, oh, shit, Cressel is here. I'm going to go snag some of those feathers. And everyone knew about it. And she's like, uh, so sorry. I didn't get the feathers. Ooh. Oh, uh, <laughs> cooler chat is still, uh, did. What? Can I chat with you? What are you just doing here? My dazzling Lord Electrode is happily letting off some pent-up electricity at present. Let's hear it then. What are you here to do? Nothing, really. That might be the first smart decision that I've seen you make. So long now. Oh, so I can just go back and just fight Melee. Okay. I'm not mad about that. Wait, is that the... Wait a minute. You, bitch. Come here. were mine. Huh. Please don't aggro me. Please don't aggro me. You do not see me. Oh my gosh. I think you do see me. Oh! Beans! Beans, McGee. What's that? Oh. Uh, who, who can deal with you? Daphne! Help! I did not catch it on where is it? I knew I was here. Uh fight, 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 fight. Uh steel beam. Iron Head will keep it alive. Yeah. It's simply too sun to move. Good, 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 good. Uh, I think a great ball would actually work for it. It's only level 40. I got it at half health. Okay. Oh no, it's gonna pop. Yeah. What are you going to do? Thunderbolt. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, let me just use uh, Ultra Ball. The weakest move is going to kill it. So This should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. I, rec I, I saw a couple guides when I was trying to, like, very gently figure out what the uh wait did i run past the camp it's just back nope nope you don't see me you don't know i'm here you don't know me you never heard of me Oh, you just pissed in that area. Okay. You done? Oh, it's not this. Is this Luxo that knows where I am? Oh. The wrong thing caught me. It's just, they're just both going off. 
What is happening? They just aggroed each other? I do not understand what's going on. It's it's fascinating to watch this, but I don't actually know what's happening. Oh, 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 it's oh, it's free. Oh, it's free. Oh, okay, he's coming. Oh boy. Yeah, I seen I saw things where people were being like, "Oh yeah, it's got a really low spawn rate." I don't think it does. Uh, this is half of 80. This, yeah, let me just do Iron Head. Just to kind of get half. Okay. Put the ball. Yeah, spawn rate, spawn rate my butt. I think it's, I think it's got a normal spawn rate. Uh. Yep. Yeah. I got Rotom. Is it back? Is there another one? No? Okay. Yeah, that was wild. Just both of them just happened to have my number. Okay. Hey, what's up? I did catch three Pokemon. I caught a moon goddess and then just three balls of lightning. I'm assuming I'm going to have some updated uh, stuff inside my Pokedex. I do. I finished up with Rotom. Heck yeah. Uh, so you don't use Lunar Blessings so and use Strong type moves or Agile type moves. Yeah. Ooh, I've almost leveled up. I would like to go back to the village, please. I have the moon, the the rivers, the rivers, lakes, spirits, and with the volcano. I'm gonna save the the river spirits for last. It's a breakout. Not surprising. Let's go to... Yeah, I have to teleport anyway. Um, can I teleport closer? Yeah, I can teleport closer. Oh, this is a whole cutscene. Okay. That festival attended by everyone in the clans and galaxy team alike. Oh, it was wonderful. Being able to spend time with Iskin in front of everyone was like a dream come true. Aww. Sama, Lena, uh, sorry, Polina, here has something she wants to discuss with you. That's right. We should also, you should also hear this, Arita. It seems something is once again very much amiss on Fire Spit Island. Oh, it's Fire Spit Island. Oh dear, you seem reluctant to get involved. It's just very hot there. Yeah, I mean, if you live in the Arctic, yeah. My, you speak in such disparaging terms of the seat that my lord, Arcanine, calls home. And to think you call yourself our leader, Arita. There's <laughs> some... Ooh, we got beef. No, Lena, I didn't... Oh, stop that silly old nickname in front of everyone, won't you? I'm sorry. I don't mean anything by it. It's just an old habit. Well, anyway, you heard her. Please get to Fire Spit Island so we can resolve this. Truly, please hurry. I might melt out there. Sure. Uh, raining, which is great for that f for a fight. I'm assuming is about to happen. Uh, get out here. Just teleport all the way here. Thank you, Molten Arena. Hello. Oh, wait. Who am I leading with? Ooh, I've got a lot of not great things against fire. I think... I think leading with... Oh, wait, no. I think it's also ground type. Um, I'll lead with Meatball. Just to see what happens. Seems Arcanine has settled well into his lore. Oh, no, I just, I'm not no, we're not fighting. Nothing really. Go away. Huh. We gotta talk to Heatren. 
right? Or Seat Run? Fire Spit Island, Lava Dome Sanctum. Uh, here, here. Clearly there's another path. Ooh! I want that. Okay, just walk around here. Good, 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 good. I want that nine tails. What's up? Hi, Sama. Thanks for coming out so far, so far out of your way. Uh, Warden Isken, wasn't Lena joining us? Uh, yes, about that. Um, it seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she's asked us to check the Lava Dome Sanctum without her. What? The nerve of... She knows I can't stand sweltering places like this. I'm sure she meant no ill will. The Warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. Who's also pissed as hell. Uh, anyway, Sama, shall we go? Might as well get over with this. Yeah, let's go. Enter the belly of the beast. Yeah, I don't think this fight's gonna go super well, but I'm not really worried. Oh, they look upset. Oh, what's up? Be careful, Sama. It's a frog. I am not entertaining this. Let's go. Oh my god, okay. What was this dirt? Is this dirt? Oh my god, oh my god, oh god, oh god. Oh, okay. I did not. <sighs> Everything went black. Uh, this, uh, this is annoying. Fine. Are you kidding me? Seems I was rescued. Uh, this is my mud balls. I got some of them. <sighs> That was straight up annoying. Fine. Have it your way. Oh, we're walking in, buddy. We're walking in. I'm going to kill you. I am annoyed that you exist. Ah. Stop charging me. Let's go. I'm done with you, little man. Ugh. Go eat my shorts. Wow, you look even stupider in 3D. All right, let's go, honey. I believe in you. Uh, yeah, Dark Pulse. Whoop, whoop. You're not healing. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, burned. I'm sorry, honey. It's gonna hurt. But I believe in you. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, shit! It worked! Heat's run. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Meatball. That was not what I was expecting. I got the Iron Plate. That fight was not fun. Uh, when you use a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the Steel type. Cool! Phew! At least the Heat's let up a bit. 
with both Arcanine and Heatran spewing flames about on a volcanic island, it certainly does get a bit toasty. Warden Iskin, I have to ask, do you think there was any need at all for me to be here? Uh, yes, of course. After all, you are the leader of the Pearl Clan, and this trouble cropped up right about the seat of one of your clan's nobles, so, uh, yes, it surely is best for you to come see it. Admirable of you to look after your clan's affairs. Do you really think so? I was wondering if it might not be revenge for all the times I pushed Lena to try and her Growlithe harder. I mean, it probably is that. That's surely not the case. Even if Warden Paulina may have mentioned something about the need for, um, tough love. I thought so. To think she was so patient and kind with Growlithe when it comes to me. Well, Sama, you did great. Uh, well, um, let's just head back out there. Yeah, this is awkward. Uh, the Plate of Fire Spit Island. Basically, hence, there's two more plates left to find. I'm gonna take as these mud balls. Screw you. I don't even use them. I don't care for the mud balls. I'm gonna take all of them. Yeah. Steal them all. Can I leave this cave and then come back and take the rest of them? I think that'd be really funny. Do-do-do. If he's in here, he's gonna leave. Ovidum Sanctum. Oh, I missed one. I'm taking all your shit. You know, I'm taking all your mud. That's what you get for making me deal with that. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, let's head back. I forget what the last one is. But I'll, I'll look when I get back to Jubilife. I did catch one Pokemon. This dumb bitch. Yeah. It feels weird that they're just like, oh, they're here causing problems. Can you deal with it? I'm like, sure, okay. Fire and steel. Huh. Yeah, I think my team would have had a trouble dealing with it any any which way. Not really decked out for fire types. Uh, return to the village, please. I don't actually know where I'm going next. I'm still saying this little Yeah. I think maybe it's a snowy area? Let's see. Missions and requests. Nope. Plates of the lakes. Place of snow. Snowpoint Temple. That's it. Oh, that's actually probably not going to be hard then. Actually, in retrospect. Uh, it's a... What is Regigigas? It's a... Is it a normal type? I don't know if it's a normal type. What is it? That would make the most sense. Regi Regigigas is... It existed before fairy type was a thing. Because it was in fourth generation was when they created it. But... What else would it be? Hmm. This is a puzzle. This is a this is a little brain teaser. I'm gonna turn back on the autosave. Yeah. I'm gonna just auto connect. My satchel. Yeah, lost that in the coastlands. That was annoying. Uh uh, I've got all this time to, to speculate on what it might be. So if it is a... Uh, you are not... You're not worthy of my attention. What is that? Oh, that's the Sander Radish. Okay. Okay, uh, let me de-escalate you. What might Regigigas be if it is not a steel type? I don't think it's ground type. I think, I think normal type is the most likely one. 
whatever that means. Who aggroed me? I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a Zorak. I still have not yet figured out where the Zorak is, but I've also not looked for one. So that might have been a Zorak, and I just like smooshed past it. Hmm. The other option is that Reggie gets is for some reason a dragon type. I think that'd be funny. I don't know why that would be the case. Uh, I think, Meatball, you're one of the lower members of the team. What is that? Oh, Bravery. Yeah. It's a little baby. I don't even want to deal with that. Uh, is anybody here? There's one person here. Registered. Is everybody in this game? I'll also lead with me. I'll lead with. I'll lead with Daphne. Hey, what's up? You know what's going on? I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to stone. Come think of it, since two. Entering. Already unlocked most of these. Let me. Let me set this one mission on the map to being what I'm looking for. Open the door to the lower floors of some temple at the Alabaster Icelands. I'm in okay, so it's taking me over here. I still don't want to deal with the Brazong, so I have to be careful. Okay. Just just don't realize I'm here. Look away. No. Turn away, little friend. I won't have to kill it. There we go. Thank you. Nope. Just chill. Just chill. There we go. There we go. That's a good boy. Uh, hmm. You. Zubat. Here. It's like a, a reach around. Oh god, it's a Brazong. I don't want to deal with you. I don't want to deal with you. If I just run fast enough, they'll just ignore me after a point. I think. You, this door. Uh, looks like a Regigigas, kind of. It's big. It's a big door. Oh. I wouldn't have expected to run into you up here, Summer. What are you up to? What are you up to? You're here to try and find the secret lurking in the Snowboot Temple, aren't you? That's what my clairvoyance, my cl Clarence, my clairvoyance told me. You do tend to get mixed up in all sort of strange going on, Summer. They are not standing on the ground. We are all floating. Oh God. Uh. The door here, well, they say it behind it sleeps a Pokemon so great you could tow around the entirety of the continents that lie to the south. Oh, is it ground type, actually? No matter what we do, the door just won't seem to open. Watch it just, like, open for me. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm look at it. If I just be like, I'm open now. The stone plate, the iron plate, and the ascal plate you're carrying react to the door. Oh, that makes sense. Well, that was easy. Bye. Stop aggroing me. You're fine. Uh, okay. We got some directions. We got left. Oh, we got down. There we go. Okay, we got orb. Glalie. That's his face. We got... Okay. And a Graveler. 
gonna just carefully walk by. I don't really want to fight these guys right now. We've got Brazong. Shit. We got representations of all the types, though. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is right. Oh, they just passed me. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh. What in time is that thing? <laughs> it's Colossus. Colossal. It sure seems to be a Pokemon. But let's see what my clairvoyance has to say. Whoa. Yup, definitely Pokemon. My clairvoyance showed me a vision of it in motion. It's it's actively moving right now. It is it's currently moving. You're watching it move. That's not clairvoyance, that is using your eyeballs. Hello. Friend FO. Can I get behind it? Nope. So currently, it's not registered as a Pokemon. I'm gonna see if I can get behind it. Hee hee hee. Hello. Oh, oh. I've aggroed it. Bridgie, gee, ga 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 ga. I like the sounds it makes in the movie. I haven't seen the movie it's featured in. Okay. Go, Daphne! Please live through. A wild Vegigigish is slowly getting along. Okay. It's either ground type or a normal type. It's normal. Slow start. The Pokemon's attack and speed stats are halved until it gets going. Oh, fascinating. So it's not going to hit very hard for the first bit. Um, let me, let's just Hydro Pump it. Let's see what that does. Okay. Giga Impact. Okay, that's fine. Hydro Pump again. I think half's all I really need. But I'll... I'll... I'll throw a ball just to see what happens. Gotta catch it. Whoop. Ooh, ooh. Yep, okay. So that was a bad move, but it missed. Yes, okay. Uh, let's do one more Hydro Pump, because I've got like two more turns for it. That actually like revs up. Yeah. Live, live. Cool. And now this should work. Uh? Uh. Yes. I'm curious if Slow Start actually impacts it when it's battling on my side. Because typically these, like, weird, like, statuses are only for the, um, when it's an enemy. I've been a blank plate. When you use certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the normal type. Fascinating. Now that was one very solid Pokemon. Like a giant born of the very earth. I guess this is just part of your job with the Survey Corps, huh? What kind of Pokemon is the one you just caught, Sema? Hmm. I can't wait to see in the Pokedex when it's done. Yeah, I'm pretty curious to read everything Mr. Professor writes up too. <laughs> see, what are these... <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, we should do another chase sometime. Oh, it seems they're standing in the ground now. That might have just been a bug. Boop boop. There's one more plate left to find. I think you're wrong. But I won't tell you otherwise. Uh, let me heal up back here because I think I got hurt pretty bad. Uh, and then you just go back up. I did. Wait, no. <laughs> you don't see anything. Uh, I'm gonna rest real quick. Just a little while. Just, just a skosh. All happy and healthy again. Let's go back up the mountain.
if I can just like climb up that to get up there pretty quickly. Maybe like faster than Brave Gear. Climbing up the mountain, we're going to see Pokemon. Ah, we love a nice mountain hike in this cold air. Oh, Jingling! Oh, is it? Is it an alpha type? Can I just sneak up? Oh, hello. I, I, there's nothing where for me to go. Heck yeah. That was really quick. That was alpha. Nice. Uh, whoop. Oh, okay. <laughs> that did not prevent me from getting hurt. Let me heal up. What is on the water? What is that? Little baby braviers? Yep. Let's save. The spirits are dark types, so I think I'll throw out honey. Oh, they're psych psychic type. I think they'll throw out honey. I think they'll do the best. Like, why not do UXC first? I love him. Ah. Hey. What's up? Oh, okay. Fight. Let's go. You're a little guy. Swift? Okay. Let me double check if it's actually psychic type. Here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Dark Pulse, just... Just to kind of clean it down a bit. Be swift. Good to see. I think Snarl should... Yeah, Snarl should be fine. It's not going to kill it. It's just going to bring it down pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good combo. And then we got an Ultra Ball. Whoop. Whoop. Oh no. You are going to give me a bit more trouble. Oh, honey's so sleepy. Honey's so sleepy. Items, please. Thank you. And we catch the Pokemon. Right? Yeah, we're good. Excellent. Is that it? Did I get it? There are two more like Pokemon left to be caught. Okay. And I'm not surprised by that. Let's go. I, in theory, have a level, a team of level 70s after this. I did catch three Pokemon. Alright, the Tingling. Wait, no. Chingling is the baby. Chimeco is the biggest one. It's a pretty nice pay hide. Yeah. Happy about that. I have made observations. Uh, 10, 6, 3, and 2. Do -do 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 -do. We're getting close to the 7th star member. I would like to go back to the village. We have two spots to hit up. I think... I think Mes Mesfrite. I think I'll save for last. Uh, I think that'll be a good time. Uh, let's see here. Here, reports. Oh no, reports. So scary. Uh, I think Bog's Bond Camp is close. Though actually, no. There's a Diamond Camp that's really close. Uh. Uh, do, 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 do. We are looking for the yeah, Diamond Settlement. Yes, please. Uh, 
one moment. Okay. Uh, sorry, one moment. I got a, a weird message. Uh, okay, yeah. Everything is good. Back to finding some Pokemons. Uh, yeah, it's got to get into the lake, which is over here. And we bounce that boy. It's gonna just barely get him over the lake's edge. Whoop. And we dive. Excellent. I don't know why it's right here, but oh wait, no, it's back over here. I think I missed the entrance completely. Uh, oh, I didn't. It was over here. Hello? Hello? Let's go, Azelf. 1v1. Yep. Fight time. Let's go. Got my little tootsies in the water. Double hit. Oh, it's gonna it's just gonna hit harder. I'm fine with that. Uh, if I do Dark Pulse at 100, I think that'll actually bring it down to where I'm wanting faster. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Absolutely not do it again. <laughs> Oopsie. Wow, they hit so much harder. <laughs> oh god. As of what is your special defense? I'm so sorry, As Elf. Oh man. I whooped your ass. <laughs> just 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 go. Kiss was like, no! <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> this is already been caught. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> oh man, I feel so bad. Like, yeah, I definitely like I I buffed up my boys. They are definitely not like actually level 55 and whatnot, but <laughs> that is so sad. F and chat for Azel for absolutely I'm sorry. It's time to see you self-destruct. Bud. Why do you know that move? I mean that's basically what happened. It was just a assisted self-destruct. I'll go to the village. Get this last one it's not gonna be very hard. Ah! I I don't I was gonna save a thing for next time, but honestly I might just do it now because I'm kinda itching to finish this game. I said this 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 uh I was said that this play is gonna be the final one. And I kinda want it to be. Uh, not that I don't enjoy streaming this game, but just for the sake of, like, uh, reaching that conclusion, I would like to actually reach the conclusion. Uh, and there's, like, one thing that's kind of, like, left that I think is going to happen that I would like to reach. So that's what I'm going to try and do. And then anything else I do will probably be off stream, so this will most likely be my last uh, stream. If something happens that I think does happen, at least at least getting a conclusion uh, to this particular uh, to the the, the 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 actual story. Uh, I would like to try and stream parts of my like like 
go as fast as you can. Not speed run, but like just, you know, hanging out, having a time, having a ball, having a gas. Uh, so we're going to see if Mess Spirit can survive one hit of Dark Pulse. And I will laugh if it can't. Coon. You. Let's fight. We. Oh you swift. Impressive. I guess Dark Pulse. Okay, so you have special defense. Interesting. I'll go again. You do recover again? You will. I'll do Dark Pulse one more time. You do recover again? Yes! Okay, this is my window. Items. We're gonna do Ultra Ball. Yep. Yeah, Azelf just had no special defense whatsoever. That was sad to see. And that's it. What do we get from them? I blame the Draco plate. Stone tablet imbued with the essence of dragons. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the dragon type. Play of the lakes. I don't think that's everything. There's more types still. And included uh normal, which I'm surprised by. Uh, you've gathered the plates related to each of the stories Kogita told you about. Wait, so they gave us they gave us Regigigas, but they didn't give us a Reggie Ice Rock or Steel? Huh. Weird. One's well, expecting that. I guess I wasn't even thinking about it, but that seems to be what's going on. Eh, whatever. Not really anything I need to be too concerned about. You. I did catch one. It's Mess Fright, if you can believe it. It just feels very weird. It, it's always felt weird to have, like, like the gods of things just in my Pokeballs. It's even weirder now that it's like, oh, Pokeball is like a nut with some metal on it. It, it never makes it less weird. It's like, as you get older and you actually think about it, it's like, how is, how is it supposed to, like, help you bond with the Pokemon faster? Uh, I'm hopeful that I can actually do stuff when I actually get out there. Uh, but Kogita! Yes, yeah, so I have to go to the Ancient Retreat, please. Vex get kind of stiff. Ooh, it's dark. That's fun. Let's save before heading in, because saving is responsible. Save your progress. Ooh. Getting... Getting some tense music here. Hello. I've got everything. Is Velo just gonna appear? Here you are again. Have you collected all the plates? Yep, there's Velo. <laughs> of course. Some is a famed member of the Survey Corps, after all. So, what more can you tell us? We're so close now. You must know more about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Wood? So you're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates? Well, I suppose that's what we got to learn next. Let's hop to it, Sema. Well, it shames me to admit, merchant that I am, I'm quite out of wood in my stores just now. Do you mean literally outside or like... Bring me wood. Wood is so annoying to actually find. I know there's one place where I could like basically auto-gen wood. Please tell me it's just like around. This is such a weird request. I normally use it to get money. Ugh, I'm out right now. I like I actively hate trying to find wood. It's so frustrating. Uh, 
They don't sell it anywhere. Bring me. I'm not bringing you wood. Sure. So I have to leave. So maybe there's a cutscene that will occur when I leave? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Nope. Okay. Uh, please summon the Ginkinko. Have it. I will literally, like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Rarity's my friend. No wood. No wood. None of you have wood. Do you have wood? Please. No wood. Oh, Benny. Anything new to say? I did what I came here to do in Hisu. Now I suppose it's time for me to head someplace with a more agreeable climate. Oh. You're leaving? No. Evan! Craft materials. Please have wood. Please have wood. You don't have wood. Ugh. Fine. Let me at least see if the apric uh, apricorn harvest is done. Yes, it is. Okay. That was a uh, great timing. Yeah. Thank you. Throw him an apricorn. Okay. That's nice. Oh, thirty spoiled. Yeah. Um. I guess what a berry harvest would provide. Actually, no. I'm just gonna do medicinal harvest. Yes, please. Thank you. I don't really use anything else, so uh, there was one place where, like, I would basically just like walk out, and there would be wood. I'll find it. Uh. Yes, I think it was. It was Cobalt Coastlands. The beachside camp. I think I like, was like, I would just walk out, and be to the left, and there would just be wood. Um, I was across my fingers, basically. This is where it was. Um, it's like it's so hard to like just find on the ground. Uh, Peppa Plant. Peppa plant. Uh, where is it? Is that wood down there? No, it's just like flowers. I think I was wrong about the wood being here. Uh, where is it? I'm just gonna look up because I, I, I could not be fucked to actively like hunt for the wood. I want archivist wood location how to find wood it drops in everywhere so where can I find it so there's a spawn of deer tracks where is it in the coastland so it's here so it's like just to the south of this arm about here i think that's where one of the bandits is so i have to be just cautious to avoid aggroing her because the last thing i need right now is to deal with one of those right now i'm just not in the mood bean and just in general keep an eye out for like other w bits of wood I find all sorts of beans, but I can't find wood. I never look for bean. I just happened upon bean. I knew I shouldn't have just burned it all on those dolls. But shit like this happens. It's like, oh, go find some wood. Go find a spot of wood. Damn, where the hell is the wood? Okay, we got one wood. Is that it? It's the only one? We got a bean. We got more beans. Goodness gracious, like everything is like coming out to play right now. Okay. That's one piece of wood. Out of several pieces of wood I gotta find. Okay, there's another piece of wood. That's good. 
Can I find the last piece of wood? Just like right here. Be really nice. I do not see it. I swear there was a place in Cornet, in in on this beach, where it was like super easy to find wood. Oh, well, there's this. I'll take that. Four. Well, that's good. Uh, we got King's Leaf. Where is? Yeah, I, I I can't really be fucked to keep searching for wood here. Uh, let me see where else there might be some. Uh, you find a piece of wood near Castaway Shore, marked by the red arrow in the map above. Uh, spawn, but keep to the left. Instead of going up to the windbreak stand, go along the beach. You'll find a tree. Yeah. We've got Coronet. So these are like permanent spawn points they might be in. Um, okay. Crimson Islands. I got to go to that place one more damn time. <sighs> okay. I would like to go return to the village, please. We gotta go to Crimson Islands. We gotta go find wood. Cause for some reason, Ko uh, Kogita needs wood. Cool. I don't care. Uh, Crimson Marlin. Let's go. I need one more wood. There better be a damn good reason why she needs this wood outside of just do one more thing. Do <sighs> that no one will sell me. Yes. It's like to the south of this like little uh let me zoom in. Like just to the south of here. So it's oh it's up here. Interesting. Okay. Uh here we are. Anything else around here? They always seem to appear in batches of two, which is annoying. Okay. Actually, yeah. If I don't keep searching for more, I won't find more and I won't get annoyed. Yes, please. So at least know that wood isn't really hard to find if you know where you're looking. I would like to return to the village, please. I would like to go to the ancient shop? What's it called? Ancient ancient camp. What's it called? <sighs> so sleepy. You gotta give her the wood. Yeah. All right. Saving one more time. Okay. You got your wood, ma'am, just as you asked. There we go. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me the wood. The three logs will do. Have you gathered the three logs I requested, little one? I have. Here you go. You handed over three logs of wood. Oh. Yes, this certainly ought to do. Now the moment comes at last, the big reveal. What, pray tell, is the secret behind this wood? I think she just needs to light a fire. Secret? Your expectations need tempering, I fear. This wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards. <laughs> Cutting boards? You mean for cooking? The plates we're after aren't dinner plates, so this is hardly the time for cooking. Bam, she gotta eat. 
how you complain for one shirking his own work this very moment. Poor Ginter of the Ginkgo Guild must have his hands full with you. <laughs> she calls his ass out. But hard work earns honest pay. You are Sema, a reward for the wood you've brought me. What'd you bring me? Is it the last plate? Yep. <laughs> I was like, we didn't receive a fair plate. There we go. So you had one this whole time. <laughs> he's, he's so shocked. That's one of the plates we're looking for. Amelia composure. Ahem. Apologies. That indeed, that's indeed one of the plates we've been searching for. What do you mean, a plate? Let me see that again. Hmm. This does rather look like one of the plates you've been tracking down. While the engravings upon it made it less than accommodating as a cutting board. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, so you just straight up were like, like, here's my old cutting board. Whatever ingredients crossed it certainly gained more a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps that was the board's power. The plate's power, rather. Wait, so... I'm assuming she, like, was... She knew it was how going on. Um, but that is hilarious that she's like, Hey, go get me wood. Here's your prize. My old cutting board I don't want anymore. Well, no more need saying. What do you intend to do... What do you two intend to do now? Uh, well... Well, we've managed to collect quite a lot of plates by now. I still don't know what we're to do with them exactly. It's just a hunch, but perhaps we should have a look at the Celestica ruins? Those ruins contain statues of both Dialga and Palkia. They might hold more secrets. I see. A fine pretext to continue shirking your mercantile duties to crawl about in old ruins as you so enjoy. On with you then. I don't need you to tell me. I'm going. Let's go to ruins, Sama. I'll see you there. Yeah. Go on now. To the Celestica ruins. I'm curious myself what you'll find there. What can we who live now from the remains of our lifts what can we, who live now, learn from the remains of our ancient myths and legends? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. But... I think I know what's gonna happen. And... If it's true, then I think after we handle it, that will be the end of the stream. If not, then I'll probably peace out for the evening. Uh, but I have a good feeling. I have a, I have a, I'm excited for what we may encounter. Uh, but it's getting kind of late. Uh, and I think this will be the last thing I do. So let's go ruins is over here. So I think we'll... Oh, no, it's like right here. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I feel good with who I have. Leading with Honey, I feel good about that, I think. I think Honey's honey's my gal. I think riding up. I don't want, I don't want to fly in. I want to ride in. In fucking style. Just aggroing everyone in sight. Uh, I can't really see you. Okay, you're just like kind of blocked by the thing. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Have a look at the Sama. There's one just completely blasted. Hmm. This statue has been kept here, far from the statues of Dialga and Palkia. Broken and shattered. And yet it remains. Do you know what it is? I gotta fucking guess. It's Dave. Of course you would. You're the greatest wielder of Pokemon this land knows. The one who could bring low even Dialga and Palkia. 
This crumbling statue once was the figure of a Pokemon, one that was equal to both Dialga and Palkia, yet banished from our world. Oh! The great Pokemon Garutina. <gasps> Is my big boy in this game? It was banished for its violence, left to dwell in a world on the reverse of her own. <gasps> it is a being that has lain in wait for the chance to bear its fangs in defiance and tear down Arceus itself. Oh. Oh, I don't think we're finishing today. Now tell me. If this guy Rutina desires more than anything else to challenge Almighty Arceus, where do you think it might appear? I think at... I think at the Temple of Sinnoh. Exactly. Where one is closer to the heavens than any other place in Hisu. And where the space-time rift first opened. Oh... <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> oh no, you got a big laugh going on. <laughs> I can feel it. We are getting closer to uncovering the secrets of this world. I dare say the excitement is loosening my lips more than it should, but... You see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking, I couldn't help but wonder why life was so unfair. Why I was cursed to live through such things, Ah, uh, here's the Cyrus. Here's Cyrus. I was like, I wonder where Cyrus's philosophy is going to be in this game. Where's the villain? Oh, boy. Of course, I imagine we all go through something like that. But I'm special, you see. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. I love, I love that the context of this is Volo being like, I have like my ever the hardships and deal with these terrible things. Uh, why is life so unfair? Meanwhile, this whole game, everyone's been like, "Why are you fucking off on work? Why? What is? What are you doing? Why are you here? We didn't ask you to be here. <laughs> why? Are you, just who are you?" Uh, and what tickled my curiosity more strongly than anything were the mysteries to be found in legends, in histories, in ruins. You see. I fancied that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be, and with that knowledge, maybe even forge a new, better world. Now, if we can find that realm that exists on the reverse of our world, then meet the, re meet the creator's unwanted child banished therein. Perhaps then we'll be able to understand the nature of Omani Sinnoh itself. Oh, so we're not, like, just dealing with Arceus head on. Don't you see? Don't you want to see it with your own eyes? We must make for the Temple of Sinnoh at Mount Cornet's peak. The Alga and Palkia both appeared from within that rift that once gaped there, didn't they? If these plates can call anything at all, it seems likely that is where it would appear. I think like you'd be calling Arceus, not necessarily, not necessarily Garutina. Investigate. I just never investigated this thing before. Oh, oh, it was so big. I think I saved myself from getting tackled. Uh, I said she a Pokemon, but it appears broken, and for some reason, it's been left this way. Oh, it's not that big. I just was very small. Okay. I, I'm gonna leave the stream here. Because I... I didn't realize that uh garutina was here i thought we were about to roll into a fight and then that was gonna be it uh but this is way more exciting let me get you your rock back uh this is still gone but hopefully we'll be back later uh so i think oh right, we're gonna wrap up there uh, maybe i think i think saturday uh, is when, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure that whatever's happening next is not going to take more than one stream. So, fingers crossed, 
Uh, my hope is to stream Saturday, let's say 3 p.m. PST. I think that'd be a good time to go. Uh, I'll be busy tomorrow night and Friday, most likely. So I'm not going to try and push it with either of those days. So if you have been watching uh, and want to see the ending, because I really want to see the ending, uh, fingers crossed I'll be streaming Saturday. But for those of you who've been sticking around for the whole stream, thank you so much for hanging out. This has been a very fun stream, uh, and I am so hype for Go Routina. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm crossing my fingers for Origin Form Go Routina because that's my, one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, uh, check down below for my socials. Go check those out if you feel like it. Slap a follow if you have not. Uh, but thanks for hanging out tonight. Hope you all had fun. And have a good evening. Uh, and don't forget to hydrate. Bye-bye.